Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here or welcome if you forgot who I am. It's been eight months I believe since my last upload so we're just gonna keep on moving forward. For those of you who may not know or may not follow me offline, um, I am seven months pregnant with our second son. He will be coming in the middle or end of June. And we are so excited for Leo to be a big brother and to welcoming another little boy into our family. Today's video is going to be baby names I love but won't be using. I guess I should caveat that by saying that these are baby names that I love but won't be using for this baby. Although for this video, I did try to pick ones that we had to like completely rule out or that would like never work for whatever reason so we may or may not decide that these are going to be future kids names but they are not the name of this baby boy coming up so I have 12 boys names and 12 girls names that I love and won't be using our baby name style is like classic on the verge of boring <laughs> so we like really traditional really classic names um, we like names that are a little bit old-fashioned names that are familiar and easy to pronounce but maybe not used the most another thing that really influences the way that we choose baby names is our faith Alec my husband and I are Catholic so we like to choose biblical names or saint names to honor our faith so that also influences the names that we have on our list but without further ado, I will start with the boys' names. And I have them here on my phone, so if I'm looking down, that's why. The first boy name on the list is Damien, and I like it spelled this way, um, and that would be after St. Damien of Molokai, who if you aren't familiar with his story, he was a saint who served a leper colony in Hawaii. In Hawaii, they had actually banished all of the lepers to the island of Molokai, and St. Damien was one of the only ones who was brave enough to serve them. So I've always loved the story of St. Damien, and I think that name is really unique, yet pronounceable. So we really liked that name, just not for this Guy. The next name is Elijah. I have always loved this name, but apparently so have a lot of other parents because this one has soared all the way to number four on the name list in 2020. Alec and I have a pretty common last name of Mitchell, so our goal was to avoid like top five to top ten names just because we wouldn't want to pair a super common first name with a fairly common last name as well. So Elijah had to go even though I have really liked this name for a long time. The next name is Elliot. I love this name, but Alec said a firm no. The other thing I don't really love about Elliot is that there's a million ways to spell it and I think I prefer names that are a little bit more intuitive. Um, it's like is it one L, two L's, two T's, one T. It was just a little too uh, fussy for us so we had to rule it out. Next name is Ezra. Another name that I loved and my husband did not. I feel like that's a pretty common baby names they love who won't be using trope is that the wife loves a name and the husband says no. So Ezra was just one of those names that my husband said no to. The next name is Henry. I have always loved this name. Um, Alec and I were actually married on the feast of St. Henry so I feel like this might be one of those ones we're gonna slip in our back pocket but for whatever reason this just didn't feel like our son's name this time around so we decided not to use Henry. The next name is James. Now some of you may know that Leo's middle name is James and the reason it's a middle name is because we couldn't use it as a first. It's a family name on Alec's mom's side of the family and the firstborn son passes it down to the firstborn son down to the firstborn son so as much as I loved James because it's a classic it's a family name it's my late grandfather name and my dad's middle name so it's a family name and I love using family names because of the tradition on his mom's side we wanted to be able to save it for Alex's cousin to be able to use for his son um, but I did love the name so much that we ended up using it as Leo's middle name to honor our family the next name is Joseph now for those of you who are Catholic Joseph is like a Catholic powerhouse name St. Joseph is the husband of Mary who is the mother of Jesus so he was the foster father of Jesus obviously a totally amazing saint but Alec and I both felt like we wanted to love the name Joseph more than we actually loved the name Joseph. So Joseph is on the middle name contenders list, both for this baby boy, because we don't have his middle name picked out, and for future babies. But to be honest, it's just not one that like clicked with us as a first name. I didn't love Joey or Joe, and I feel like when you pick a name like Joseph, you have to assume that somebody's going to call him Joey or Joe or something. Um, so Joseph just like didn't feel right to our family. So the next name on the list is Levi, and this is one that actually both of us liked, but then we realized we probably shouldn't have two sons named Leo and Levi. I had to like fight so hard to pronounce that correctly. Too close together, we had to go ahead and cross Levi off of our list, probably permanently because we used Leo. The next name is Michael. This is another name that's like a classic, a standard, and the reason it's not on our list is A, because of the way it sounds with our last name, Michael Mitchell. It's just a lot of 
a lot of M's and L's. And also because I didn't love Mike or Mikey, going back to what I said about Joseph, if you name them a longer name, I feel like you have to at least be like neutral about the shorter names. And I'm just not a big fan of Mike. I didn't want my kid called Mike. So Michael got crossed off the list. The next name is Oliver, another name that we love, but because of its popularity is currently not on our list. The chances of there being another Oliver Mitchell in his circle we're just a little too high for comfort, so Oliver got crossed off our list. And the last boy name that we love but won't be using is Thomas. Now Thomas really fits the bill for us. It's Catholic, it's classic, it's familiar. I even am like totally neutral about Tom and Tommy, which are the like kind of like given nicknames for that name. But Alex's brother's fiance, who their wedding is this summer, her name is Tommy. And so we felt like we couldn't have a Thomas and a Tommy in the family. So Thomas is crossed off our list. Now let's move on to the baby girl names. The first name is Alex. Alice, and I have always loved the name Alice. I think it is so darling, so classic, got that old-fashioned flair, so easy to say, spell, and all of it. The problem is my husband's name is Alec, and I felt like we couldn't have an Alice and an Alec. I would just get way too mixed up. I can just imagine calling him Alice or calling her Alec. So Alice, unfortunately, has been crossed off our list. I hope maybe we can slip it into the middle name spot someplace, but uh, yeah, Alice is off our list. The next name is Clementine. This is a classic. I loved it, and Alec didn't story. With Leah, we didn't find out if we were having a boy or a girl, so I kind of pushed for this name when I was pregnant with Leo as our girl name, but Alec was just not able to get on board. He was like, why would we name our daughter after a fruit? Which, fair enough. So Clementine <laughs> is not on our list. The next name is Eliza. I think this name is beautiful. I think it is feminine. It's classic. I like that it's kind of an updated take on Elizabeth. I think it's a beautiful name. Um, but it just doesn't feel like our daughter's name. It doesn't feel like our kid's name. So as much as I like it and admire it, it feels like somebody else's kid. The next name is Ella. I think Ella is an absolutely gorgeous name. But I feel the same way about Ella that I do about Eliza, where it feels like it's a beautiful name, but it's kind of like another kid's name, um, not my kid's name. So Ella is not on the list. The next name is Eloise, another name that I loved and Alec did not. This also feels like, it's not like if you look on the baby name popularity list, it's not that high, but this just feels like one of those names that's really gaining momentum. And so I, again, with the last name Mitchell, having the first name being a little bit more common is something that we would like to avoid. So Eloise got crossed off for those reasons. And the next name is Florence, and this is another. I loved it, Alec did not. And also like felt like maybe it was tipping the line too much onto the grandma side when you like think about grandma chic names maybe just a little bit too old-fashioned so as much as I think it's a beautiful name it's not the name for a baby girl we might have the next name is Lucy everything about this name is just like totally up my alley um, it is fun and spunky it is the name of a saint um, it's got that old-fashioned flair but I have a cousin named Lucy so as much as we love the name Lucy it's not gonna be on our list for a future baby girl the next name on the list is Madeline I like it spelled this way but I also like it spelled the traditional way so I think the two problems I have with Madeline is first the pronunciation issue. Some people might say Madeline, some people might say Madeline. So my given name is actually Caroline. I go by Carly, but it's short for Caroline. And when people are trying to say Caroline, a lot of times they actually say Carolyn. So I have a feeling that a Madeline might have some trouble going from Madeline, Madeline. They probably hear both and that just feels like a little too bulky and a little too cumbersome. And then going back to the nickname thing, I just don't love the nickname Maddie. I would hate to be the mom who's like, no, her name is Madeline. Don't call her Maddie. But I don't love Maddie and so it feels Feels like we should probably just leave Madeline on the table. The next name I have on the list is Margaret with the nickname Maggie. I think this is just so darling. This was my top choice going into our early baby name discussions when I was pregnant with Leo. Um, however, as soon as I proposed it to my husband and he said Maggie back to me, my husband has this like upper Midwest, like Minnesota style accent and he said Maggie instead of Maggie and I was like, uh-uh, forget it. I cannot listen to you say Maggie for the rest of her life. So I do still love the name Margaret, and so maybe we'll use a different nickname or maybe we'll just call her Margaret, but unfortunately my favorite name Maggie had to be crossed off the list because I couldn't listen to Alex say Maggie for the rest of my life. The next name on the list is Poppy. I have always thought this name was really fun and beautiful, a little spunky. Um, it just didn't feel like kind of our type of name. Um, like I said, Alec and I as a couple tend to to lean towards more classic traditional names. In America, Poppy is just a little bit more of a trendy name, I think. 
I know in England it's a lot more popular, but here it just kind of felt a little too trendy for our taste as a family. And the last name on the list is Rosemary. This is my other favorite in addition to Maggie when we were talking about girl names when I was pregnant with Leo. Um, I love it with the nickname Rosie. I think it's just darling. Alec was just not really too into it. He thought it sounded like an herb. So Rosemary had to be crossed off our list for that reason. So those are the 12 boy and 12 girl names that I absolutely love but will not be using. I'd love to hear in the comments any names that your husband has rejected or what your kids names are. I just like talking baby names. We do have baby boy's first name picked out but not his middle name so we're still talking about names. So any boy name ideas that you have, leave them in the comments as Alec and I try to figure out what this guy's name is going to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been like eight months like I said but I've just kind of been feeling like I'm in a rut and I just felt like I wanted to record and edit to give myself a project, give myself some goals and something to work on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Also comment if you have any other pregnancy related videos you'd like to see from me. I got two and a half months left of being pregnant and I'd be happy to film and record more videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.